Hi there, this is Nabila with Rex Theme, and today I'm gonna show you how you can create order bumps at your checkout. Now, order bumps let you make attractive flash offers at the checkout page to increase your sales revenue, and it's very easy to create using Checkoutify. So, let's have a look at how you can create one. So, to create an order bump offer in your checkout, you need to have Checkoutify installed and activated in your WordPress dashboard. Now, I've already done that and you'll find the Checkoutify once you hover over WooCommerce and in the third option, you'll find the Checkoutify. So if you click on it, it takes you to this window. Now, here you can see that I already have two checkouts created. So the first one is not active and the second one is active. So basically, I have this checkout activated in my uh, WooCommerce. So if I quickly show you how this works now if i go to the cart i already have two products added so let's proceed to checkout and this is how the checkout is looking like right now so if i go back you can see that you have options to add more uh, fields here so what you can do is add the order bump offer right here in the checkout or what you can do is create another checkout from scratch and then add the order bump there so I'm going to add the order bump right here since this checkout is already activated. So if you scroll down the fields and see that you will have an option called order bumps. So if you click on the arrow, you can see that you have the option to create a new order bump. So once you click on it, it takes you to this page. Now here, you can change the styles of your order bump. So currently the default style is this. You can change it to whichever style you want. You see, it's changing. So let's say I want to change it to this style. What I can do is change the colors and the branding here. So let's say you want to change the primary color. So if you click here, so this is something I used before. So you can change the colors from here. Let's say you want to give it a light touch. You can do that. Then you can change the pricing color. So let's say you want to give the pricing color this. So here the pricing color will change. You can search for a specific product. So let's say polo t-shirt. So I want to add this one here all right well, let's change the style to this this is more interactive so you would want to change the full sleeve t-shirt here so you're adding this you can see that once you add it the uh, overall thing changes right so i can change the product description and the color from here so let's say i want to add this color then i want to give this one a bright red and this is the entire look of the order bump now if i scroll down you can see that you can uh, add some discount type so the original means the discount that you have on your product page so i don't have any discounts added here so i can change the discount to a percentage so let's say i want to give a 10 percent discount to this specific product in the order bump now once you do that you can see that the pricing has been updated by applying the 10 percent discount and what you can do is also change the quantity from here so let's say if you add four sleeves uh polo full safe t-shirts then you can get this discount but currently i'm just going to keep it as one and finally you also have another option to replace the product so if you want to replace the cart products with this order bump you can do that using this option but i'm not going to do that and if you don't keep the original price discount here or if you change the discount in any way you can set a flat amount and change the sale price from here so what i'm gonna do is just keep it as percentage then I'm going to save this so once I do that what I have to do is drag this order bump and add it here 
so you can change the position of this order bump wherever you want you can also add steps but since i'm creating a one page checkout here i'm not going to uh, create another step and add it there so i'm going to keep it here and then i'm going to update the checkout so once i do that what i'm going to do is go to the front end and show you how the checkout is looking like now so let's go to the cart proceed to checkout now you can see that this is the offer that i've just created and if i select this my order details updates see so basically what happens here is once you uh, come to the checkout and add this offer the entire details of your order will update and the total amount will update as well so that's how easy it is to create the woocommerce order bump now if you have any other questions you can reach out to me in the comment sections take care